What, what is it about this friendship, about going to Ibiza, that, that you would seek to undermine all of this work that you've done in building your party? No, my, my, my work cannot be undermined by a visit to Ibiza. I mean, this guy, um, we grew up together, he's way older than me, and I met him in the ANC for that matter. And um, we became He's friends. About yeah, Mazodia. Yeah. Uh, we became friends. And uh, we later became family friends. And that when his daughter is getting married, uh, whether in Ulundi or in Ibiza or anywhere in the world, I will go because she's my daughter. Uh, and to ask me not to attend Mazodi's daughter's wedding is to ask me not to attend my own daughter's wedding because uh, I'm a friend to the father, and that makes me a father. Um, and so M Mazoti is not a self-confessed uh, a criminal. You see, that thing that you do of a compromise in text, you accept something that you have not done. For the sake of progress, accept your OE so that we can give you a compromise. And Mazoti's confession, that's what you guys are talking about, that in his compromise, he admitted to one, two, three. But that's why you get told that it's a compromise. You don't have to necessarily say you have done it. For the sake of moving forward, just accept you've done this thing because if you are not, then this thing will not be accepted. Who does the drafting of, the, uh, of that uh, compromise? Uh, is uh, uh, that guy who was accused of uh, a, a rogue unit. He's the one who, who drafts the letter. Uh, uh, from but, but I'm so, not worried about the perception that you're living this high life while you're preaching about the poverty of South Africans and the growing inequality, the rising cost of living. How do you, in your mind, deal with the dichotomy between the two? How did you deal with that mind when Mandela came from prison and stayed in Houghton? He has never worked for 27 years and you still loved him and you still believed he's fighting for the poor. Why is that only applying to me? Who of all these people stayed uh, in, in a shack to demonstrate that he's fighting for the poor. Why was Krisani killed? Was Krisani killed in a squatter camp? Was Krisani killed in a, in a township? Like, that inconsistency... Ibiza is, Ibiza is a crack. Uh, no, I, I didn't go to Ibiza. I went to a wedding and I said to you, I would have attended it if it's in Ulundi or anywhere else. I'm going to a village this weekend that are unveiling a tombstone. I go anywhere in the world, as long as I've got a purpose. I didn't wake up to go on a holiday with my wife at Ibiza. We were invited to a wedding, and I went to honor it. But this thing that you are introducing, that because I'm fighting for the poor, therefore uh, I must not be seen to be uh, in the suburbs and all of that, then Tabombeg is not fighting for the poor. Then all of us are not fighting for the poor, including Blade, and including Soluma Paila and all of them. So it's incorrect to say because of your address, you can't fight for the poor. What matters is, do you have the political will? I gave example in the past. I said, uh, uh, Tokyo Sukhwale, when he was a billionaire, I don't know if he's still a billionaire now because it looks like he's struggling. If he's got a billion, I, will not, I don't care about this money. I care about where is his heart. Does he have the political will to change the living conditions of our people? And if the answer is yes, then I will vote for that billionaire. My sister, I don't read about poverty. I come from nothing. I didn't have shoes. And I will never ever swim in a pool of luxury when there is someone in front of my eyes who is struggling. I mean this thing because I know what it means to be in poverty. And therefore, I, do, I don't have to glorify poverty in order for me to inspire my people that we can one day succeed out of poverty. I'm not going to glorify poverty. I don't fight and I've never said I'm fighting to stay in Alexander. No, I'm fighting to stay in a better place where schools, clinics, roads, uh, electricity, water, will be accessible and closer to all of us. And if that is what defines luxury to you, then I'm happy to fight for that luxury. For yourself alone, because what happens to... I'm not fighting for myself alone. I've done so much, 
so much that whatever your editor has done in his entire life for poor people, if, if he was to die 10 times and wake up, he will never match what I've done for the poor. I build the poor uh, houses. I take them to schools. I make sure that there are families that are not known to me, that are fed. I've changed lives of people who are hopeless in society. And you can say whatever you want to say. You will never shake me because I know my contribution in changing the lives of my people. And that's why when called upon the people of South Africa that Malema is coming to be speaking at this place or that place, they all come in their numbers because they appreciate the type of effort I put into changing their lives. I'm an individual. That's why I agreed to the formation of a party so that we can come together. Alone, I can do so much. But with a collective, I think we can change the lives of many.